My name is Reagan Gill, and I'm a senior at Phoenix High School, and I've been doing cheer for one year. This is my first year. My name is Maggie Carrillo, and I'm a senior at Phoenix High School, and I've been doing cheer for one year. Hi, my name is Sebastian Haynes. I'm a 12th grader, and I've done cheer for four years now. This would be my fourth year. I also did competition cheer with TNT. Um, what cheer means to me is kind of like uniting our school. So. How I got into cheer was when I was little, I used to do Pop Warner cheer through South Medford High School. And then middle school, the cheerleaders started from the high school, started coming to the middle school. I guess it was last year. I don't know. I guess I just started coming out of my shell more last year. And um, one of my great friends, Megan, was on the cheer squad. And I would always kind of like make, like not make fun of them, but mm. like, you know, go with them and try to cheer and stuff. And... I guess like kind of seeing the opportunity this year to actually try out for cheer and to actually kind of bring out my like my other side I guess. Um, Maggie had joined and over the summer when she got back from cheer camp actually they the team went to Portland and she got back from cheer camp she's like Reagan you should join like it's so much fun and you could be a great back spot for when we do stunts and like all this stuff she just kind of like casually mentioned it and this is me I'm never doing cheer that's <laughs> not me like no and but then she kept like oh my gosh it's so much fun you should at least just come try it and like over time like just convince me to come to one or two practices and I did I went and showed up um challenges I faced is definitely trying to get my splits as a guy that's pretty challenging hurts I <laughs> am really bad at jumps <laughs> I just can't get my legs off the ground more than a couple feet and I watch like Sebastian and Kelsey and all these other people do like such high jumps and pretty jumps and their like toes are pointed perfectly and I'm over here like T-jump. Oh, like, punch me in the face. <laughs> two feet off the, not like two inches off the ground. I think the most difficult thing for me was <laughs> definitely trying to do my splits. That was, that was... Um, <laughs> a struggle. Um, the football, football games when no one does the cheers with us. Yeah, that's really that's difficult. That's very difficult. When, when you're doing, you start a cheer, right, and you're just like, you're going all in and you're yelling and jumping and kicking and like doing everything you're supposed to and the crowd just sits there like this. I think that's like also like a really hard thing is like sometimes the crowd doesn't join us and it's hard to be positive and like you it's hard to like up keep up the energy if our student section doesn't because do they, what we kind of like want them to do I guess or like when they throw stuff at us that's yeah when they too. throw <laughs> what's with that and then they're like oh will you hand me that I'm like you just threw that at me no what the most like stereotypical thing I see about cheer is saying people saying that cheer is not a sport like we are ranked as a club. But we are a sport. We have practices just like other sports. Like we put in all this work and effort, and people still see us just as not a sport. They think cheerleading's easy, but then when we literally have, we do flips and jumps and backflips and toss girls into the air. I guess like the stereotypes like is like I feel like a lot of like people always stereotype cheerleading. Even I, I'm kind yeah. of like I stereotype them, and I was yeah, like before when we were yeah in before. It. But it's like. Once you kind of join cheer and once you kind of like see the other perspective, it's like it almost sucks because it's like everyone judges it. And like when I came yeah. to Phoenix, okay, when I came to Phoenix, one of the first things that I heard about like any sports, like, and this is what people they're so mean. They say our cheer team sucks, they're all fat, and they're all ugly. And this is me. I am brand new at Phoenix, and that's what I hear. And I go, yeah. and they're not like. Yeah. But that's just what people say. They just judge us like that. People do say that, and they're like, "Oh, cheer's not a sport. Cheer's not, cheer's not a." If no, you go up to a cheer room and us practicing, we are literally drenched in sweat. We sweat. <laughs> it's gross. We, I cried at true. practice. I cried at practice because um, we hold our splits for three minutes, and that both right sides. there, both sides, and that right there, that's, like. Really Six showed me in the, your splits. Yeah, there might it might not be as physical and ever like, not as physical as other sports, but it's you have mentally be strong. Yeah. Mostly, mostly guys. guys. Yeah. Mostly and guys. And it's like say the that. thing that makes me mad is like okay, yeah, guys say that, but 
we're not here to please you guys. Like, <laughs> we're not here to be like, okay, I'm gonna... I'm perfect. Yeah. No, we're perfect. not here to please guys, nor girls. Like, we're here to be ourselves. We're here to cheer and, and stuff. And to have fun. And to have fun. And to bring positivity. And, and to bring try fun. to like, help others have fun at You know, and cause... it's hard for people to be like, oh my god, they're so ugly. Oh my god, there's blah, blah. It's just like, mm -hmm. is that really what, like... That, is, is that, that what really matters? what matters? Is that really what... Like, no, it's not. And it sucks because it's like, yeah, like, mm. it gets us, it brings us down sometimes. You know, I heard people say stuff like that so much more last year compared to this year. Not to throw shade on anybody, but the other day I was sitting in class and there was an announcement about a uh, senior night at the football game on Friday. And this girl said something about how cheer gets to participate in senior night or something mm -hmm. like that but marching band doesn't or something like that she was like saying she's like cheer gets to but we don't but then being <coughs> i feel like you can't like really say stuff like that country. until you've been in both and i guess like every you sport has I mean? yeah every sport has like its own like difficulty like and that's what frustrates me mm -hmm. is like they don't understand so they yeah. shouldn't you know they judge. don't see what goes on like anything else until we get to the game. Yeah. So all they see is what's at games. It's definitely a struggle to be a male cheerleader because guys are like, ooh, girl cheerleaders, short skirts, spandex, ooh, yeah. And then they see a guy and they're like, what is he doing? <laughs> like, like, and I'm definitely more, I do more than most guy cheerleaders. Like most guy cheerleaders don't do the cheers or the jumps or anything. They just do tumbling and stunting. And so like I actually push myself to do the jumps and the dancing and all that and so guys see me as a little like stupid but it also struggles like I don't know you get called like gay and all that stuff because you do cheer like even if I wasn't gay I'd still probably get called it if I was doing cheer but I really don't care what people think like I love the sport so I'll just keep doing it and doing it and I don't care what people say yeah I mean, sometimes, uh, just because, like, the, sh the, the, the skirts, skirts are really pretty, short. Um, pretty tiny, yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of, like, sometimes it's uncomfortable, but... Yeah. I mean... Especially when you're having to... What sucks about, like, the uniforms and stuff sometimes is, like, your shirt, your skirts are so short, but then you go to do your stretches and your everything else to get ready for games, and your whole, like, butt is out yeah. to the world. <laughs> There, but there's nothing you can do about it because that's just that's what your uniform is. Yeah, you know? and I, like it's so cold out there too. It gets oh so my cold. gosh! I person I personally never have felt yeah. like the like, like, uncomfortable. Yeah, I've never comments felt uncomfortable comments, or I've never felt like you know like anything about yeah. it. But I mean, like sometimes the skirts are too short, or sometimes you know this is too tight. But mm -hmm. it's also like me, the stereotypical cheerleader, and it's like cheerleaders wear skirts and yeah. cheerleaders wear short skirts, yeah. and you know, so it's kind of like the stereotypical yeah. cheer. Just know that it's not an easy sport, and you have to be dedicated, or else you will get bumped down to JV or kicked off the team. And also, like <laughs> myself, my one message, my one my my one message to mm -hmm. kind of wrap things up is. Mm -hmm. Like, try different things. Like, yes. don't hold yourself back from trying because even under, like, uh, underclassmen, like, it sucks being a senior and to try out for cheer and be like, I should have done this my freshman year. Like, yeah. it's so fun. And because you don't know until you, you try. You don't know unless something. you try. Yeah, and so. And you're going to miss out on a whole bunch of stuff if you're yeah. oh, I'm too worried to do this because, and like, oh, I don't know if I'll be good enough. I don't yeah. know if I can. But Keep definitely, anything, you know. but definitely, like trying out everything and yeah. not being scared to like push, yeah. push the envelope, and not being scared to, you know, try different things. Try, and yeah. this is Rad Mags and Ray Dogs signing off. Yeehaw!